having done with this we can also now consider a hypothetical drop let's say a cylindrical drop so what we have is a cylinder like this say the height of the cylinder is h the radius is say r what we are supposed to find out is the same we have to find out the excess pressure residing within this cylindrical fluid drop so what we have or what we can do is take the half po portion of the cylinder say i am considering only this considering a three dimensional view of the cylinder say something of this sort let me consider this face the rectangular face this is basically 2r this is h <coughs> if we consider it the same way we did initially for the spherical drop the radially outward pressure will be balanced off by the vertical component of the surface tension throughout this surface so the vertical component of the of the surface tension force will which will be something on this surface in in the direction along the surface of the cylinder will need to be only considered in the vertical direction so if we balance of forces what we have is p excess multiplied with this note that this comes from the fact that we initially considered that when we look it uh, look on the spherical surface which was something like this and there was a ring like this when we look at it from the top we see a ring ring which has an area of pi r square here we see a rectangle of this format this has an area of 2r into h so the pressure force that we need to consider is p excess into 2r into h this needs to be balanced off by the surface tension force the surface tension force here will be basically s along this h and s along this h these will get cancelled off because of the fact that they are spread in all directions so what we have here due to the surface tension is sh plus sh this gives us p excess being equal to 2s by r sorry s by r so this is the excess pressure inside a uh, liquid drop of cylindrical shape to solve these kind of problems we have a general result known as the laplace's result according to this i am not going into the detailed proof of this for for the time being as as a as an outcome of this result what we have is that excess pressure inside a fluid drop is equal to the surface tension times 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 where r1 and r2 are mutually perpendicular
प्रिंसिपल रेडियाई ऑफ द सर्फेस कंसिडर्ड Now, what does mutually perpendicular principal radii mean? Let me write the result here sideways so that we can refer it as and when required. So this is our Laplace's result, and now what we'll see is what are the mutually per perpendicular principal radii. This means. that if we can determine two different radii of any surface they should be mutually perpendicular for them to be applicable within this formula say for a sphere choose any two arbitrary mutually perpendicular directions radially so that we get radius as an outcome of our choice say i am considering a radius in this direction and i am considering because this is sphere this is three dimensional i am considering a radius like this which is coming out of the plane of the board if i consider these two these two mutually perpendicular directions what we get is one radius here another radius here these two radii are mutually perpendicular so what we have is r here as well as r here so this can be replaced with r this can also be replaced with r and what we are left with is pxs being equal to s times 1 by r plus 1 by r which is equal to 2s by r if you note this is what we derived using force balance let us also consider that spherical drop the spherical drop looks something like this here let me consider a point here one radius can be this which was taken as r if i consider another principal direction which is mutually perpendicular to this this can be taken as let's say this direction now this is not actually meeting any surface which is in form of an arc this is basically meeting a line like this so any line in space can be said to have a radius of curvature of infinity because this can be considered a part of a circle whose center lies at infinity so one of the radius can be replaced with r and another radius can be replaced with infinity so what we have is p xs being equal to s times 1 by r plus 1 by infinity this gives us the result s by r if you remember this is what we derived some time back so this is how we use the laplace's result you may also try this for different other cases let me discuss another case let us consider a soap bubble this is filled up with soap and water solution here and here we have some excess pressure in this case what we do we use the laplace's formula for two different spherical surfaces so what we actually have is p xs being equal to s times 1 by r 
प्लस वन बाई आर मल्टीप्लाइड विथ टू दिस टू कम्स फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट वी हैव टू सच इंटरफेसिस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वी गेट द एक्सेस प्रेशर इन साइड द सो बबल एज फोर एस बाई आर लेट मी राइट सम जनरल फॉर्मुले फॉर एक्सेस प्रेशर एक्सेस प्रेशर इन अ लिक्विड ड्रॉप इज टू एस बाई आर एक्सेस प्रेशर इन अ गैस बबल इज अगेन टू एस बाई आर एक्सेस प्रेशर इन अ सोप बबल इज फोर एस बाई आर दीज कैन बी रिमेंबर्ड फॉर वेरी शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन और मल्टीपल चॉइस टाइप्स क्वेश्चन वेर यू डू नॉट नीड टू डिराइव यूजिंग फोर्स बैलेंस दैट विल टेंड टू वेस्ट योर टाइम यू कैन रिमेंबर सम ऑफ दीज फॉर्मुला टू डायरेक्टली अप्लाई इन दी एग्जामिनेशन